this is uh, an interesting scenery in the middle of uh, right in the heart of uh, I think uh, we in Africa United Nations of Africa otherwise known as uh, Nigeria we use such words as United Nations because this is a place that has over 256 tribes and still counting and because uh, you see those two beds I, life is so interesting and uh, everybody is a living organism you become a living organism by virtue of the fact that uh, you are independent but you must be nurtured in love with time and space you must be welcomed into the universe by people who could be your parents or your guardian because there have been cases of people who lose their baby mother as at the time of birth uh, in that case, maybe there has to be people who will feel vacuum. Maybe foster mothers or things like that, that will take care of such children. Imagine, but I know, just like it's not possible to jump up and touch the skies because there's a vacuum. So it is when you grow up with people who are not your real biological parents. If they treat you with all compassion and emotions, you will not know. Whoever you grew up with, you end up calling Papa or Mama, as the case may be. But really, there's nothing wrong about growing up with anybody. Because anybody you see with, when growing up, has been ordained by the authentic and original intuitive wisdom of the universe. It seems to me that uh, anything under the sun has a dual purpose. In fact, I think uh, everything we know as of today, right from birth, was linked, either feeded to us by our parents, our relations, our community, or people who cross paths with, right from birth to date. What you are taught is other what we call indoctrination, and some of these things become part of what we call foundational belief system. And by the time they begin to be our belief system, when anybody criticizes your belief system, most people who are not, uh, who are like conservative and are too emotional, develop a resistance, which means a wall goes up and they get, start getting flared up. That is why religion all over the world has been a very sensitive topic. And uh, most people have died in time and space because of religious belief. Right before they gave birth to our forefathers, our grandparents, I'm talking about several centuries ago because we read history books as we are told and we know of crusade and jihad, which comparatively mean the same thing, implying that you either accept Jesus Christ or you die, or you accept Islam or you die. Both of them are equal. The truth is, before this religion ever caught it, we all had our spiritual beliefs in different climes in Africa. Right from Bini Kingdom, Kemetic, Egypt, Kane Bonu Empire, or your kingdom. Um, so many kingdoms have rise and fall within El Kane Empire, and so many warriors have gone through time and space in our territory. We just came in, but what we know is that in African climb there was a community kind of life, wherein a um, children are not just a property of any person, but uh, a community responsibility and child responsibility. We had shrine, we had uh, oracles, we had divination, and uh, what I think there was more compassion. But even then, there uh, were chiefs. We heard about chiefs who were always. Uh, taking other boys women. If he sees your wife and you like them, they take it. But it happened so in the same period when there were civil war 
And after the war, the warrior, of course, take home any wife you want. So um, it is a polygamous uh, system that we inherited. So our forefathers, like my grandpa, pa, pa, and grandmama, my grandpapa, of course, is polygamous from both sides, Patana and Matana. They were all polygamous, and that's what we met. But these days, with the advent of religion, religion has apart from Islam, we say you can have like four wives, so long as you love them equally. The Christian was uh, indoctrinating to us that uh, one man, one wife. But if it's written that Jesus Christ didn't marry any wife, but it is not written in that same Bible that on one day, some woman shall take hold of a man's cloth and say, let us just be a name, take care of ourselves. What does that now really mean? Does it now mean you can even take up to some women so long as you can manage them and love them equally? But if you cannot manage one very well, effectively, as a meeting of what they need, why do you want to take up many? This is what you need to